Welcome to the Sunday, June 14th episode of Stacks on Deck. I'm your host, Walter, and this is Brave Burst DFS. It's one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. All right, so we have another combo slate today before the four-day All-Star break. I don't know what to tell y'all about what y'all going to do from a DFS perspective for the next four days. I guess there's an All-Star game contest. That's going to be insane. But let's focus on this afternoon. So we have a 10 game slate that kicks off at 135 and then we have a four game afternoon slate that kicks off at 405. All right, so let's pull up my checklist and we're gonna look at six things today. We're gonna look at the previous day. We're gonna talk about rain out concerns and then I'm gonna give you my top stacks, top pitchers, top hitters. And then I'm gonna do two DK stack bills again because this is a combined slate. I'm going to do one stack bill for the 135 slate and then I'll do another stack bill for the 405 slate. So let's talk about the combined bag and the overdraft. The Reds went off and scored 10 runs and you can look at my third bullet the rookie Hines is playing out of his mind right now I love the salary savings he got you all of that 34 fantasy points for under four thousand dollars and then on the other slate you had the Diamondbacks went out and scored 12 runs so from either one of those slates you have one of those combinations you're feeling real good right now However, two of our more reliable recently uh, teams, as far as from a stack perspective, let us down. The Mariners went out and scored one run and the Rangers only scored two runs. And then my boy Lopez for the Braves had just a mm, beautiful matchup and didn't know what to do with it. Actually only got 4.9 fantasy points. All right, so rain out concerns. So yeah, I know you, I look at the same DraftKings as you. I see the little rain showers and yes, but remember, this is not weather concerns. I changed this after my first week. This is the rainout concerns. Do I think they're going to cancel these games? I don't think so. Maybe there's going to be some kind of rain delay, maybe. But as far as actual rainout, cancel, reschedule, I don't have those kind of concerns. All right, so my top stack. So as you can see, I kind of label it for the 135 slate. It just saves space. I said 1 p.m. slate. And then for the 405 slate, you said I have that. So I'm going back with the Reds and I'm going to build that uh, stack for you. The Cubs, number two, the Tigers, number three. So those are my favorite from four from the one o'clock. And then I'm going to go with my Braves and I'm going to do a Braves stack for you all for the first time in a very long time. And then I'm not giving up on the Mariners yet at four o'clock all right so let's talk about our top pitchers so chris sale is skipping the all-star game because he knows that the braves winning is more important than an all-star game he once again just like his boy lopez he has a great matchup from a dfs offensive perspective against the padres so he's going to be uh in that four o'clock slate he's expensive but we know he's a mega stud and he's worth it and then i have my two favorite players from the one o'clock slate from uh, two favorite pitchers. I have Keller, the Pirates are going to Chicago, and I have Quintana uh, the from the Mets, the Colorado Rockies are going to New York. All right, so my top hitters, yes, I'm going with the rookie. I'm going with the salary savings. I'm going with the hot hand and Hines, 3,800 in the outfield for Cincinnati playing at one o'clock. Rodriguez for the Mariners. I'm not giving up on the Mariners because of one game, a one game sample. So Rodriguez has been batting well over 600 for about <laughs> 10 days now. He's still only 5,200 in the outfield for Seattle at four o'clock. And Horner, if you're doing that Cubs stack I talked about, is 4,000. All right, so let's look at this red stack at uh, at one o'clock. Where is it at? Where are those reds? Yes, let's look at the reds. So once again, always check the liners before lock. The liners should be coming out really soon, so just check that. But you got to have Dela Cruz in your lineup. I mean, come on. I mean, forty six stolen bases. Yeah, forty six stolen bases. Sixteen home runs. Um, what five game hitting streak? Home run, multiple hit games. I don't have to sell you on Dela Cruz. I hope I, I hope I don't. Do I? No, I don't think so. All right, so got Candelario, another stud out there. Sixteen home runs on the year. Uh, four game history 
home run in back-to-back games. And then we, we got to get the young gun in here, right? We already talked about it. We got to have Hines. What a way to start your career. He's going to be the next Hank Aaron. We've already decided it. he's going to be the next Hank Aaron. He's going to bat 500 for the rest of his career, and he's going to get 100 home runs a season. We already know it now. So definitely A. Hey, you know, get the strike while the iron is hot. Oh, you know what catches it can always be kind of dicey, but assuming that Stevenson plays, I like him. Ten home runs uh, on the year and hits in four out of his last five games and three home, sorry, four home runs in his last five games. And then I like the flexibility. We're going to go with Steer with that fifth spot. If you want to have the, you know, the five person stack, 15 home runs on the year, 14 uh, stolen bases, two home runs in the last five games. I mean, you got to love the Reds stack and there's so many ways you can switch this around especially once we get those starting lineups and then my braves my braves who who have let us down a little bit but you know what they do have some studs still in that lineup so we're going to start with ozuna you know the all-star hopefully he does well in the home run derby 304 in the year 26 home runs in the first half of the year he's had five straight games with multiple hit games and three home runs in the last five games so this is you know we all know come on we all we, we all know the brave stack is ridiculously expensive so we, i mean because we've all done it before i mean you have riley 12 home runs definitely having a down year no home runs in the last five games but we know riley is liable to go off at any time same thing with olsen once again very expensive stack which should bring that um which should bring you know the ownership down 13 home runs has not been playing as well as we would like and then we go with the all we go with all bees once again eight home runs hasn't been playing well but that is what it is this is a dfs move you know that the braves have a good matchup and can go off at any time and you know what for catcher if you want to go, I'm not sure, you know, I know it's going to be Darno or Murphy. We never know when it comes to catchers, but let's just say it's Darno's time to start seven home runs on the year and a hit in two out of the last five games. So that is my brave stack from the four o'clock hour. Once again, I am also totally fine. I can see you going with a Seattle stack is going to be higher owned. We know Seattle has some studs and Rodriguez and Raleigh and Crawford. So I can definitely see you going with that stack as well so let me know your thoughts feel free to leave any comments but otherwise go out there and win that guap